is a prophetic word about 2024. It's actually part of a five-part word, and I'm just going to get into one with him today. Maybe he'll give us previews of the others, but I just want to encourage you right now as we're doing this, please repost this, share this. This is going to be really valuable information, prophetic insight. I greatly respect this man of God, mm -hmm. and something really powerful, I think, is going to ignite in your spirit as you're listening to what he has to share with us today. So, Robert, welcome. Thank you so much for being with us today. Always good to see you and always a real blessing to flow with you, Joseph. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, you know, we're here and as people are reposting and everybody's, you know, jumping on right now, I just would simply like to, to ask you, what is it that you were talking about? You, you said you saw uh, the spoils of, of war. Am I saying that right? Uh, in 2024? Can you help us, Robert, begin to go into this prophetic insight that you have? I respect when God speaks to you and I want to I wanna know what the Lord is saying for the coming year. Yeah, Joseph, it's he spoke very, very clearly to me. And you know, I know your audience obviously very familiar with the prophetic. You're mm -hmm. so prophetic. And one of the things I've found interesting for me in my prophetic walk with God and prophetic ministry for God recently, Joseph, is, you know, a lot of times we'll hear sentences or paragraphs or pages of prophetic insights and prophetic strategies. This word came so clearly and so concisely, and that's happening with me more and more. Wow. And I think God is wanting to make things simple and clear so we can really grab hold of them. And clear as a bell, I heard him say, there will be spoils of war in 2024. Oh, that sounds good to me. Come on. It, exactly. And it really resonated with me. And as I spent time with the Lord, and he would go deeper and deeper and deeper. And I want to encourage all of your viewers in the prophetic, because they sit under your incredible teaching. They sit under your prophetic insights and revelation. They are receiving from the prophets, so they'll get the prophet's reward. And part of that is because they're partnering with you, because they're submitting and sitting under your leadership and your teaching, they're going to be stirred and activated in the prophetic because they're constantly under a powerful prophetic mantle that you and Heather and Z Ministries walks in. Oh, so one you, of the Robert. things I want to encourage your audience in is to linger in the word that they're hearing. So spoils of war in 2024, simple, yes. concise, not very long. But Joseph, as I lingered with the Lord, oh, wow. he took me deeper and deeper and deeper into layers of revelation. And the first one was that this means there's going to be more warfare in 2024. Yeah. Wow. And and that and you 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 address this so well on your show and with your audience. Warfare is not something that we should hang our head and say, Woe is me. Amen. God ordained, God appointed seasons of warfare are never about fear. They're about awareness. Come on. And what we really got to get our head around is when God initiates a season of warfare, when he announces and declares it, it's not because he's trying to highlight what the enemy's doing. He's trying to highlight to us the opportunity to partner with him to take territory because that's what God ordained seasons of warfare are about. When God says, will you partner with me in this hour to take territory? And that's I really want to encourage everybody. That's what this season of warfare is about. God ordained, God arranged, and I'll be, I'll be bold and say, God inviting us mm. into a season of warfare. Because <laughs> we've been saying, God, we want, we want revival in our churches. We want reformation in our nations. We want a move of God in our health, in our finances, in our families, for our prodigals. You know what we're crying out for, Joseph? A God-appointed, God-ordained season of warfare Come so we can on, partner wow. with him that he can, 2 Corinthians 2.14, lead us in triumph in Christ Jesus and take territory. Man. An uh, isn't that exciting? Oh, I'm I'm so pumped because I'm thinking of, of of words that you're sharing, and then yet the things that there's there's like a spoils of this war. You're seeing blessing. You're seeing increase. You're seeing people that that are accepting that invitation to have major, honestly, breakthrough or provision. Man, Robert, I, I'm loving this. Please keep helping us. And it's exceedingly abundantly because as I continue to linger with him, one of the other things he spoke to me was it's spoils of war coming in 2024. Wow. He's not saying there'll be compensation. He's not even saying there'll just be recompense. Because huh. as, as you know, Joseph, for the last several years, most of the church that's been willing to go to war, 
yeah. have been contending to pursue, overtake, and recover all that has been stolen. Strong. Health, yep. finances, time, the ability to trust, all these things that have been stolen from us, trust in our medical community, trust in our government. We've been pursuing overtaking to recover all and that is outstanding yes. well done body of christ however what i want to get people excited about is god is not saying don't do that he's saying i want to give you in 2024 the faith to believe for more Come because on. in 2024 it's not just getting back what was stolen it's time for the spoils of war and spoils of war are the extra. I can almost hear heaven declaring extra, extra, read all about it. Extra is coming, extra anointing, extra favor, extra yeah. finances, extra doors opening, extra souls coming extra. in, extra miracles happening. Yes, you'll recover what has been stolen, but 2024 is the year for spoils of war, for more than you had, more than was stolen, more than you've ever seen before. This is a year for the spoils of war. In Listen, everybody, you know, one of the reasons I have Robert on is because Robert has spoken words into my life personally. And there's, there's things we've talked about and just that he would even prophesy like covertly to me <laughs> in settings. And, I, and in hindsight, I was like, he was so on target and saying things. And so when Robert begins to declare and share these things, you really need to tune into what he's saying. I'm telling you, this is a now word. This is a word of encouragement. It's a word of exhortation, not saying it's going to be easy, just saying that you're going to be able to claim spoils of the war. So right now, as we're here, please repost this, share this. I know somebody is going to get a word out of this, a now word of encouragement that will break them out. So Robert, in the spoils of war, do you see there being uh, like a, a battle for that, a contending for it? What What is the process of getting those spoils? Do you know that? Or what is the Lord showing you? What the Lord was showing me, because I always say, Lord, this is exciting. I believe you, but root me and ground me in the word so always. Amen. Um, and he gave me Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego as an example. Come so on. to your point, uh, uh, Joseph, I don't think we have to contend for the spoils but we do need to be willing to show up in the battles. That's good. And because Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, we know what happened. They refused to bow down to anyone but their God. And they're brought yeah. before Nebuchadnezzar. And he's like, come on, guys, you're some of my favorites. Please tell me that you're not disobeying because I don't, I don't want to have to throw you into the fire. Man. And they say, this is brilliant. They say, our God is well able to deliver us from the fire. But even if he does not, <laughs> Come we will on. submit to no one but him. That's showing up for the battle. That's saying in my family where we're contending for my nephew to be set free from an attack of epilepsy. Wow. I know my God has set Isaac free from epilepsy. Yes. I go to war for him in the spirit every yes. day. Wow. And I will bow down to nothing other than the truth of God's word that at the cross of Calvary, he set Isaac free. Yes. Now on days when we get another report from the doctor about this malformation or this situation or this surgery that's needed, I hear it, but I'll show up for the battle in it. And I, I thank the doctors for their wisdom. I'm grateful for, I'm, I'm, I'm honoring and loving and, and respectful to the medical teams that are helping him. However, in that, I'm also saying, but I'm showing up for the battle. I am going back to war. I'm declaring the truth. I even thank God that Isaac is already healed because he is. Amen. We haven't seen the manifestation yet, but Amen. Thanksgiving brings multiplication. So I give thanks for what I know is done because I must see it because it's been paid for. But even if my God does not manifest it today, I will bow down to nothing but him. And we will collect the spoils. And here's the spoils in that example. As I continue to declare eternal truth and continue to stand in eternal truth, I fully expect to get back what was stolen from me and my family and my wonderful nephew who I adore. He will walk in freedom. Yes. But there's spoils coming because I'm establishing a realm of the glory and truth and power of Jesus over epilepsy. So now everywhere I go in the world where I get to minister, I'm seeking opportunities to see epilepsy bow because it must. And Come that on. will be the spoils. Because when Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego get thrown into the fire, 
And this is one of my favorite parts, Joseph, where Nebuchadnezzar gets so irritated. He says, stoke the fire hotter. And when they open the door, it's the guards. It's the minions of the enemy that get consumed by the fire that leaps out. Not Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Simply being willing to stand in truth will destroy the enemy and his minions around you. Simply being willing to stand in truth will destroy the enemy and his minions around you. Wow, Robert. You know, for those of you watching too, you know, I'm thinking about you, Robert, and how you've gone to so many different nations this past couple of years, even when people said, you know, this is not a good time for that. It's not a good time to do it. So you are living proof of the very things that you are um, uh, standing with right now. So in other words, what you've practiced, I believe you're carrying into this word for this coming year right now. You know, I think of even just specifically, you were in, in Russia, you went to Moscow. We share that uh, kind of journey together, but you had such an impact and you have uh, truly a global impacting ministry where God sends you as an agent, a prophetic agent, a prophet of God to go into all these places. And here you are standing now, I believe not just for the United States, but this is a global word, isn't it, Robert? Yes, it's a it word. Is. It's for okay. the global body of Christ. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, And so <clears throat> the spoils of war, in a, towards the end of this broadcast, here's something I want to say to everybody too. I'm going to ask Robert to be praying for you and minister to you a little bit because there is something going to be released in this. Mm -hmm. But the spoils of war, do you believe this is people that have, <clears throat> I consider Psalm 126, sowed in tears, but they're going to reap with songs of joy. Do you see them paying it forward, Robert? Come on, that's it exactly. And again, just to finish the illustration with Meshach, Shadrach, and Please. Abednego, when they when they come out of the fire to, to fast forward, here's what happens. They not only are put back into a place, they're not just put back into the authority they have, they're brought into increased authority. They're come given on. increased place, increased authority, increased impact, and that's strong. Nebuchadnezzar, the most wicked administration in the history of the world, gets a <laughs> revelation that the, the, the one true God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego must be declared to all. That spoils, Joseph. They got more authority more influence, more reach, more title, probably more blessings that come with all of that. And they get a revelation of the one true God. Nebuchadnezzar receives that because they were willing to stand in truth. They were willing to go to war and the spoils were received. So that's what I mean is I don't think, I think we should claim the spoils. I'm claiming and declaring this word oh, every day, good. but yes. I don't have to contend for the spoils. I can't make the spoils happen. God has promised the spoils if I go to war. Man, you can't lose for winning, right? You just can't lose for winning. I mean, what you're talking about is basically the pattern that the Lord has used over and over again for leaders and biblical voices that stood up under extreme duress. And this encourages me, your word, Robert, because the world right now is going into a time of extreme duress, extreme pressure. But with extreme pressure comes extreme returns, extreme results. And I, I just love this word. Now, you have more than this word. You have five things God showed you. And uh, if you would, do you mind giving us bullet points? those? Because I want to have you on to talk about all five eventually. But give us bullet points of those if you would. Absolutely. One of the, the one of the big revivals that God is wanting to see initiated in his church, so we see revival and reformation break out in the nations, is he's bringing a revival of authority to the body of Christ. Come on. And one of the words that he's given me, and Joseph, we kind of received this together. You and I were flowing on my program. You were sharing prophetic yeah. downloads, yeah. and God gave me this word in the midst of it, and it was in 2024, where you've seen the storm, now you'll see the opportunity. Ooh. And where you see the opportunity, you'll step into your authority and see the victory. Come and that's on. part of this revival of authority he's bringing to his body, where we'll see the darkness, we'll behold the darkness, but not be cowed or bow to it. We'll actually step into our authority. We'll still run to Jesus, but we won't run to him to say, do you not care? Help. <laughs> we'll run to him to say, how are we going to do this together? How yeah. are you going to lead me in triumph in you and the victory you've given me together. How do I step into my authority? So this revival of authority that's coming. So when we see the storms, because there's a lot of storms coming, Joseph, right. but when we see these storms, we're going to start seeing them as opportunities. One of the other words the Lord gave me is our greatest opportunities for kingdom impact in 2024 will not look like opportunities at first. They wow. will look like attacks. 
They'll look mm. like irritations. They'll look like delays. They will look like disappointments. But wow. these are storms. And when we see that there's an opportunity in the storm, when that loved one gets that negative diagnosis right. and we, we see that, it doesn't look like an opportunity. It looks like bad news. However, we're going to start to see the opportunity to see that thing bow in our loved one and also to an establish a realm where everywhere we go, that thing bows. That is so powerful. Robert, you know, I'm, I'm here with you right now and we got people watching and I, I just sense something, even for you, that the Lord is going to continue mm -hmm. to increase your voice and your reach. And I, I just, everybody that's watching Robert, uh, I encourage you to not only check out his ministry, and we're going to get all that, of course, at the end of the broadcast as well, but I encourage you to not only check out his ministry, but be praying for Robert, because I sense something from my friend right now, that there's going to be more and more increase, more and more opportunities to speak, especially through media. I think media mm. is going to grow in your right hand and your left hand, where strength just begins to go on both sides and take you around the world. A voice, I hear these words, a voice that goes around the world mm. through airwaves. I believe God's mm. going to help you immensely in that. I, Cause as you're talking, Robert, it's so powerful. Whenever you start talking and you and I get together, I start getting this prophetic synergy going on. And so, okay. So you have a couple points you were, you were getting into and what else? There's something else too. What I heard the Lord say that there would be a great falling away in 2024. Oh, now, man, Joseph, wow. here's what was interesting to me because I'm immediately got into my head and I'm thinking, I know more exposure is coming in the church. I know how hard that is on the body of Christ. I yeah. put out words about what Satan is actually up to when right. leaders are exposed, but what he's trying to do to us as the body in that. So my first thought was, oh man, but Joseph, what was interesting is I could feel God's almost excitement. And I'm like, Lord, what do you mean? And he said, hear me. The, for my hungry ones, their hunger will connect them to a grace for a great falling away in 2024. Not a falling oh, a away. From, a grace for a great falling away. But wow. then he very clearly stated, mm -hmm. not a falling away from the faith, but in their faith, a falling away of the things that have hindered, limited, and interfered with them in the past. Come on. Come on, Robert. And what was exciting is he highlighted to me that most of these things aren't even huge sin issues. And please hear me. If there's sin in your life, stop sinning because stop sinning. God's not mad at you. He still loves you, but it, right. it, it brings destruction. That's right. But what he wants is he, wanted, he wants a church that's so empowered that he's going to start highlighting to those who are willing and even invite this from Holy Spirit to highlight uh, uh, negative emotions, uh, unproductive behavior patterns and even past due relationships that he wants to do a John 15 verse one and two pruning of under wow. greater fruitfulness. So wow. there is a falling away coming, but for those who are in faith and hungry, it's going to be a falling away, a pruning of the, and it's, I love how he said falling away because pruning sounds painful. It falling does. away is like, Oh, that, <laughs> that bad habit I had yesterday. It's just not there today. This is awesome. I love it. <laughs> well, pruning. I mean, I love it. I love it, Robert, because pruning, you know, it sounds negative, but really God only does pruning to make you bear more fruit. That's it. That's yeah. absolutely it. Yeah, so um, um, the, be excited about the falling away that's coming. Obviously, the word about um, spoils of war in 2024. And yeah, one other on. word I want to touch on quickly. Please, this please was more do. a prophetic experience that I went through that God spoke to me powerfully. But I won't go into all of it. But very, very quickly, when I was in Mexico City recently, we were doing all these meetings and we were seeing miracles break out every single evening. And one of the things I get most passionate about, Joseph, is not only seeing miracles break out to glorify God, but one of my passions is helping believers be released into the working of miracles. So because we can be there and work miracles and it glorifies God and people are touched. That's awesome. But if I can help people see who they are in Christ and then Holy Spirit helps them be released into the working of miracles, yep. then when we leave, we've got a miracle working army to put Jesus on display everywhere we go. So every night we're seeing miracles. Every night we're seeing people released in the working of miracles. And in one of these meetings, a recognized, seasoned and wonderful man of God, a prophet, came up to me and said, the Lord is telling me to tell you to believe for more. Come and to on. go after more Come and to on. believe for every wheelchair to be emptied for not just limbs to go out, but missing limbs to be recreated before Come your eyes. Robert. 
So Joseph, every night we're seeing miracles. Every night we're seeing people released in miracles. Then this recognized seasoned prophet gives me this word. My faith skyrockets. <laughs> The next day is a day off, and I'm invited to this wonderful family event to speak a blessing over some family members. And during the course of this wonderful fiesta, the person who had been my translator comes up to me and says, hey, there's a mother and father here, and they've got a 15-year-old girl who has not been able to speak since birth. Will you pray for her? Wow. And I was like, it would be my privilege. It would be my honor. And my faith has skyrocketed for exactly this type of thing. Wow. Now I don't want to I don't want to tell the whole long story but here's the short version Joseph okay with so much compassion so connected to God's heart and with skyrocketing faith mm. I pray knowing that this young lady's tongue had been loosed at the cross of Calvary I prayed and nothing seemed to happen mm -hmm. that never deters me I'm all about well then we'll pray again because it's already again, on, and again for about 40 minutes I contended in total faith and with the absolute compassion and mercy of Jesus overflowing me, which is my place of miracles, because it's his heart. It's not me. It's him. But wow. I know when I feel that flow, it's like, I know this is going to happen. Yes. After about 40 minutes, the mother and father look at me and they say, well, thank you for your time. And they walk away. And Joseph, my heart broke. Oh. And I went to the back of the little area where they were having the meeting and I leaned up against this wall and I, I just bared my heart before the Lord. I said, Lord, this is not okay. Yeah. It's not okay that they're walking away with that look in their heart, that disappointment. You've paid for this. The That's enemy right. doesn't get to keep her tongue. What am I missing? What do I need to do? Help me because yeah. this is done. Come and on. I know that you've done it. And I'm crying out to God and crying out to God. I ended up talking to a mentor of mine, long distance or not long distance, but FaceTime, getting some encouragement. And I'm wrestling with all of this, but I know all we can do is step out in faith. And as I heard someone say once, when God does the miracle, we don't take the credit. So when we don't see the immediate miracle, we shouldn't take the quote unquote blame. That's and good. I got back into that place of faith of, hey, she might wake up tomorrow and be able to speak. But yeah. I'm still wrestling, right? Yeah. And in the middle of the night at four in the morning, the Lord speaks to me clearly and says this word, fear not, only believe. And I'll tell you, God can speak so much. I not only know that's Mark 5, 36, but it's the very first message I ever preached as a minister was at the wow. healing rooms of Cal Pierce. And it was on Mark 5, 36, fear not wow. only believe. For a year, I'd been preaching out of Mark 5 on how a, a key to greater miracles is trusting in the goodness of God no matter what, like the woman with the issue of blood does. And then he speaks this word to me, and immediately at four in the morning, he takes me, the best way I can describe it is he took me into the word, wow. into the experience of the word. And I felt Jairus's disappointment and heartbreak because he risks everything that he has to show up so the rabbi will come to his home and heal his daughter. And the rabbi says, yes, I'll come. And he's thinking it's the risk. I stepped out the risk. It's worth it. Then there's the delay. Then the servant comes and says, master, I don't know how to tell you, but your daughter's dead. And Jairus is crushed, heartbroken. And the Lord spoke to me and said, do you think you were heartbroken and confused when I didn't loose that girl's tongue immediately? Think about wow. how heartbroken yeah, and confused wow. Jairus was. Yeah. And yet what he spoke to Jairus was, fear not, only believe. And Jairus makes this heroic decision in that moment of will I continue to walk with Jesus or not? Because Jesus says, I'm still coming to your house. <laughs> and he lets Jesus minister to him, pick him up in the natural and the spirit, chooses to continue to walk with him. And here's the word for the body of Christ in 2024. If we will do the same, when we're willing to step out in radical and ridiculous faith and risk everything, including our reputation, like Jairus did, and if we don't immediately see what we expect, but we let Jesus minister to us in that moment, and we choose to continue to walk with him and trust him when it makes no sense, like Jairus, body of Christ, and every one of you watching Joseph's program, Jesus will walk you home Come into on. the truth of the word, and you will see a greater miracle than what you initially showed up for. Jairus showed up for a healing. He saw a resurrection. And any setback is an opportunity to choose what you believe, continue to walk with Jesus, and expect greater than what you initially showed up oh, for. Oh, man. 
Do you guys, I mean, are you sensing this, ladies and gentlemen? I am like, I started right at the end of that word, as you're saying, it'll be a greater miracle than before. It'll take it further. Man, I'll tell you what, listen, receive that word. You need to receive. Those of you who are watching, not only do you need to share this and repost it, you need to receive that word for you. That is a now word. Robert, I am, I'm full of the power of God right now. Come on. I sense it so mightily. And I just want to, um. I would like to ask you, Robert, if you would begin to please pray for everyone who's watching right now. Uh, They're walking through, there's the war, there's the crisis fatigue, there's the spoils you're talking about, but this last bit of the word, if you'll press in and stick with Jesus, it'll be better than it would have been. And I just, please, if you would, as you feel led, man of God, please, would you pray for those watching right now? Oh, it'd be my privilege, Joseph. Thank you. And this is the final aspect of the spoils of war word that God unpacked for me. Because when he shared all of that spoils of war with me, Mm. I'm always really real with God. And I said, Lord, I believe you and I want to grab hold of this, but I need to be honest with you. I'm weary from the last few years. I feel battle weary. And God did not get mad at me. He did not condemn me. He didn't rebuke me. He said, I know. And he washed me in his living water. And the battle fatigue and battle weariness washed away. And I'm about to minister that same thing to you because I can freely give what I freely receive. And as I do, know that not only will those things be washed away, but the zeal of hope-filled expectation. I have a redemption ridiculous expectation of God in 2024, despite everything I see and feel coming. And you're about to receive that too. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our savior, our healer, our restorer, I thank you, Lord, that you do for everyone watching and listening what you did for me. For everyone who's battle weary, Everyone who's battle fatigued, I thank you that you wash them in the living water of your Holy Spirit right now. I thank you that you bathe them in the Zoe life of that living water. And I command all battle weariness and battle fatigue to fall away. I command any discouragement or disappointment from the last few years to fall away. I command weariness and wariness to fall away. Fatigue to go, and even the, the, the sense of, I don't even know what I can trust in anymore because everything's lying and everything's failing. I thank you, Lord, that we can trust in you. And that weariness and that weariness is being washed away as well right now. And Lord, I thank you that you not only take away what the enemy tried to put on us, but you're refilling, you're refiring, you're reigniting, you're refaithing, you're rezealing, you're (laughs) reminding us of who you are and all that you've given us. And as we receive that, I thank you that there is a hope-filled, faith-filled zeal And in that hope-filled, faith-filled zeal, there is a willingness to allow you to lead us in triumph, to see the opportunities in the storm, to be reminded of what you've given us and what we have, including authority. And there's an ability to look to you, but then step out with you to go to war in 2024, stand in truth, and receive the spoils. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Man, I receive I received this word. This is awesome. Man, I, Robert, how do they how do they find you? How do we get a hold of you? What how do we do it? Oh, easiest way is simply roberthotchkin.com. Okay. And through that, I think that will connect you to my YouTube channel, podcast, my books, my teachings. There's a free download for you there, but also on my YouTube channel, everything there is free and everything's for you. Oh, I love it. You know, what was the last book that you, you wrote? Which one was your last one? Realms of Power was the Realms last of one. Power. It's so good. You guys get Realms of Power. Uh, check out Robert's, uh, his books, his materials. Uh, he's got a great tribe. And it's, I, I'm glad that I get to be a part of the Robert Hodgkin tribe. And so thank you, sir. I, I appreciate you so much. And uh, check him out. Ladies and gentlemen, what a blessing. If you've been blessed, I want you to just shout out, we're blessed, we're going red. Check out Robert. Robert, would you please just pray for us one more time? Just just pray a simple prayer of blessing yeah. over the viewers. And uh, I think that would be really important for them right now. Lord, I want to thank you that you say we can freely give what we freely receive. So Lord, anything and everything you've given me, 
that I can release. I release to Joseph. I release to Heather. I release to Z Ministries. I release Thank to you. every one of their partners. I release to every single person viewing. Anything and everything that will serve you and serve them in serving you, I release as a mighty, mighty flow, including mm. and especially the spirit of faith that you've given me, the ridiculous faith to expect your truth no matter what, I release to them as Joseph and Heather and Z Ministries raises up a red church army that mm. refuses not to believe eternal truth, goes to war, receives the spoils, and Lord, the faith for more in 2024 is released to them right now to the glory of your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, I I just love Robert Hodgkin. I just hope you guys uh, go find him the way I have and enjoy his ministry so much. Uh, please repost this. Please share this. I want to say a great thank you to the partners and friends. Thank you for being here. Jesus is Lord. A great Come thank on. you to Robert Hodgkin today. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you would, watch this. I want to thank our partners and those of you who are watching right now who have been joining us. And maybe there are some of you who might even have been on the fence about becoming a partner. I just want to encourage you, if that's something that you might be praying about or inquiring the Lord about, to maybe just go ahead and take a step. And uh, we would love to invite you as one of the, our partners and as partner family, you'll get a call every month from us. You'll receive a phone call. We pray for you. And uh, there's we have many other resources that we have where you can come together and receive prayer as well. And so if you're looking to potentially partner somewhere, please send us. We're looking to go everywhere we can reach all around the world to get the gospel of Jesus, the good news to any and all who will hear and see and trust and know that he is Lord. So if you're looking to partner, you can go ahead and go to josephz.com. All the information is there for you to join and to sign up with us and partner up really coming together as a joint partnership to really getting the gospel around the world. Visit us at josephz.com or you can text the keyword give to 719-259-0029. We sure do love you all so much, and we are so grateful for your support and your help so we can see this world one for Jesus. Are you prepared for 2024? Well, we wanna do our part to ignite the roar in 2024. That's why we're hosting the Power to Stand Conference in Mesa, Arizona, February 9th and the 10th. My dear friend Rick Renner will be joining me along with Pastor Jason Anderson for two powerful days that are saturated in the presence of God. I'm telling you, this world is getting wild. This year is going to be filled with unparalleled challenges, but you're gonna be filled with the faith of God to stand against what comes next. I encourage you, join us for this conference February the 9th and 10th at The Power to Stand. I promise you, your life is going to be impacted. I hope to see you there.